We're making a crab and corn bisque using roasted corn kernels, delectable lump crab meat for a perfectly rich and savory soup, all served in a crispy sourdough bread bowl. We're gonna go ahead and get our corn roasted. Now this is gonna help us develop that sweetness and give us that nice roasted flavor. We'll go ahead and coat it with just a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees, let it get nice and roasted. All right, now let's start building our bisque. We'll start by cooking down two yellow onions. I got a red bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper. Throwing some light oil into your pot and you wanna just sweat this down until it's nice and soft. Once that's soft, I'm adding three tablespoons of butter, about four tablespoons of flour. We're gonna make a light roux. Mix it well to combine and you just wanna get this nice and toasted. And that roux where you want it, add in four cloves of garlic. We'll deglaze this with some white wine. I like the flavor that this adds, but if you don't want to use alcohol, you could just leave this out. Now I'm going to start layering flavors. I'm going to season it up with that little bit better Creole seasoning. That's that premium blend of sea salt, cayenne, garlic, and onion. Some of that low and slow simmer. It's going to give it just that depth of flavor you're looking for. Now this is perfect for anything that's going to simmer for a while. It's a savory blend of herbs and spices. I'm going to add in our cream and some whole milk. I'm going to start off with one quarter cream and about a half a gallon of that whole milk. Now go ahead and whisk it up well to incorporate that roux. Now that our corn's roasted, let's cut it off the cob. Once it's off, you want to take a spoon. Just make sure we get all of that juice out. Now we're going to add half of this to our soup and we'll put half in a blender. I want the texture of the whole kernels to be in the soup. And I also want the sweetness and the creaminess of the cream corn. Now once you add all of that in, we could go ahead and let this simmer for about an hour. So we're gonna let that simmer. We're gonna slice up some green onions and mince some parsley. Go ahead, get your crab ready. I'm using two containers of lump crab meat. You wanna pick through this to make sure there's no shells. Now after you're done cooking, you can go ahead and gently fold in your crab meat. I'm gonna serve this in a bread bowl, so let's get that ready. Go ahead and slice the top off, and then you could just go ahead and remove that center. Now put it in the oven and make sure it gets nice and crispy. Now put a few scoops of this right in that bread bowl. Serve this up on one of these cooler weather nights. And I promise you won't be disappointed. Y'all gotta try this one. That roasted corn, that fresh crab meat, is simply divine.